Good morning everyone. So I am back in Rio. This is gonna be the third time that I've been making videos in Rio. I know quite a lot of you guys have been following me because of my Rio videos. So yeah, I'm gonna be around here for a, for a couple of weeks. And right now we're in a place called Mangarachiba. It's not in the city of Rio, I don't think. It's a bit down the coast, but you can see it's like a little quiet coastal town here. We've come here because we're going to be heading to a really popular place called Ilha Grande. A lot of people think it's like the nicest place to visit here in Rio. It's basically like a big tropical island. We're going to be spending uh, three days there in total and the boat leaves from here so I think it's going to be leaving in like uh, an hour's time. I'm not sure how much it is but I'll let you know. So yeah we're just waiting around and then we'll head there. Got a quick breakfast. What's that called? Cheese. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's some fried thing with cheese. Pretty tasty. And both these were like uh, ten reais, right? Which is probably around like two, three dollars. Pretty good though. And we're just in the queue right now. arrived on the island now and we've just come to our hostel we can't check in yet because it's too early so I think this place is called Beach House Hostel and it was only $14 a night for the both of us so like $7 each so pretty cheap and it even includes breakfast and yeah the location is beautiful I'll show you quickly so the entire island is just like this like you're just surrounded by nature and the mountains everywhere looks pretty incredible I think now we're gonna be doing like a little trek to some waterfall or something and yeah, check out some beaches. I think there's over a hundred beaches on this island. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Okay, so we're on our way doing the trail to the waterfall. You've done it before, right? Yeah, two times. Three times? Yeah. Yeah, it's my first time. I've I've only ever been to here once before, Ilha Grande. Ilha Grande actually means big island. That's what it means in English. What's the name of the waterfall again? Cachoeira da Feiticeira. Cachoeira da Feiticeira. <laughs> An hour and a half to get there, so it's quite a long hike, but we'll see how it goes. I think we're about like halfway now. Been pretty awesome hike so far. This place, yeah, it's like one big beautiful jungle. <laughs> pretty amazing. Back there, we already like passed some rivers where people were um, swimming and stuff. We didn't stop there, but yeah, there's already some areas where like people were hanging out. We even passed some ruins of some aqueduct from the 1800s or something. So yeah, that, that looked pretty cool as well. Pretty hard hike though, cause it's a lot of like uphill slippery ground as well but yeah not too bad all right we've finally made it the waterfall it's very small is it cold yeah oh yeah ice cold <laughs> All right, I'm going in. <laughs> 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 
Vai, vai com tudo. It's gonna take a while to get used to this. Majority of people are entering, too cold. <laughs> Man, there's a guy right beneath it. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta stay for a while and you eventually get used to it. Pretty beautiful place though. gonna head to a beach now called Abraunzinho. We're walking there, you can walk there, it's like over there somewhere, I'm not sure. So we're gonna be walking all the way along this beach. Quite a big beach. Here's mainly like a boat area, so not as many people in the water there, but yeah, this, this side looks amazing. It's kind of similar to like Southeast Asia, right? In the Philippines, yeah. Yeah, it kind of looked like this. Pretty awesome. So we've arrived at the beach, like I said it's called Abraão Zinho. Abraão in uh, English means Abraham, the name, so Abraão Zinho would mean little Abraham. It took like 30 minutes, took a bit longer than than I thought to, to walk here, but yeah, pretty adventurous walk either way. And yeah, this is just completely beautiful, kind of deserted, there isn't that many people here at all. Really laid back place. So here you have one of the taxi boats, so they go everywhere pretty much. We might get the taxi boat back because um, yeah, we're probably going to be here until it gets dark now. It gets dark in about less than two hours, so yeah, we're going to be chilling here and then later on we'll get the boat back. Not sure how much it is, but I'll let you guys know. Hey, little Abraham. Oh boy, little Abraham. We're gonna be heading out now. Decided not to take the boat back. Yeah, we just decided to do the walk again since it's a pretty cool walk along the coast. By accident, I ended up doing a video showing you like how you can spend pretty much a day for free here in Ilya Grenjik since we didn't really pay to do anything. In tomorrow's video, we're gonna be doing like boat trips, seeing like loads of awesome things, I think. We're just taking it easy because we woke up at like 4 a.m. So we didn't really want to do that much, quite tired. I didn't even film that much at that last place. So yeah, I'll make probably a better video over the next few days. And uh, yeah, just as always, thanks for watching. Drop a like on this video to support me. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.